Well, Vicki, despite aggressive recruiting efforts, JCPS continues to lose bus drivers. Fewer drivers mean fewer routes next fall. Parents would be left to drive their kids to school or put them on public transportation. Now, some parents say those options are inconvenient and potentially dangerous. At an afternoon press conference, civic leaders, flanked by parents, opposed next year's JCPS transportation plan. Among the options to deal with a shortage of bus drivers, eliminating transportation for all students who attend magnet and traditional schools. We believe such a plan will lead to further segregation of schools in West Louisville and deny opportunities for high quality education to black, brown, and poor students who cannot afford private transportation. But public transportation is an option. The district is working with TARC to provide alternatives to students who might be removed from the bus. Parents like Jordan Hearn say putting kids on city buses could be dangerous. Having to ride the TARC, she would have to cross um, the Greyhound bus station. And I feel like there's just all different type of people that are in that community. Yeah, I can see students not even going to school if their parents cannot take them or pick them up because it's not safe. It's not safe everywhere. And I just, this is not the right solution. This is detrimentally affecting our kids. So my son has to walk 1.2 miles to the dark stop and then he has to ride 100 stops between where they pick him up and Central High School. That is insane. My son is autistic. I mean, that should just crazy. And then who's responsible for the safety of those kids on that TARC bus? Civic leaders say they understand JCPS is in a tough spot when it comes to successfully transporting students. Too many kids, not enough drivers. Louisville Urban League President Lyndon Pryor says there has to be a better answer than a plan which would leave 16,000 JCPS students without a bus ride to school. We know that changes have to be made. And I am telling you that I understand fully that those changes are not going to be ones that everybody likes. I think we can understand that, but it doesn't have to be this. We can find better options. In a statement to WLKY News, JCPS responded to this afternoon's press conference saying in part, any change to our transportation system next school year will impact black students and students of color who are a majority of JCPS bus riders. Those students of color, thousands of them, are currently missing thousands of instructional minutes at the start of every school day. And that's got to end next school year, and while there are no great choices, doing nothing is not an option. The district board is scheduled to meet tomorrow night to possibly approve a transportation plan for next year. Reporting live in the studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News. Thank